Hey guys, how's it going? Today is Monday, November 7th, 2022. Corn shellers are here today with their Case 7120 Combine. And I believe there's a North Star head on it. But they got a Challenger here at the green cart, which nobody's running it right here at the moment. So I think they just bring it here and dump it. And just use it as an extra holding area because they just have one truck running. So, yeah. Sunset's pretty nice tonight.
had the drone up in the air got some pretty neat shots from what I thought until the battery died I didn't really think there's too much use of getting it out and flying it again it's starting to get pretty dark and I didn't feel like flying it into these trees down here we'll come through here for our stock chopper and I believe this field will probably chop and then fell corn fodder off of it the home place all the corn's taken off there they did that this morning so we'll go through and chop that and bail some corn fodder this week here at home now we gotta head across the road to the ag bag they're over there bagging the high moisture corn across the road where we put corn silage bags we didn't have enough room to put a corn silage bag because they're 10 foot this is eight foot here it's a whole different bagger this bagger here has a hammer mill on it and it bags it so it takes a good bit of power the other baggers take a good bit of power too that's not our tractor on the bagger and that's not our bagger it's the bagging companies so none of this equipment here running is ours it's uh, all custom operated. Uh, we don't have enough people that can go around to run everything. It wouldn't justify to own all that kind of stuff, like combine and everything like that. And a truck, and, you know, it's a lot of money there, especially whenever you don't have the time and uh, people to run it. It's just easier to let custom operators come in and get it done for us because, in the, the day, they can get it done. That saves our headaches because. If it be us, the equipment be broke down and you don't have downtime with them. They get in here and they get her done. This tractor is just sitting here in neutral. It's running about 20, 50 RPMs it looks like. The corn comes off the truck into that auger there. And it brings it up into the hammer mill. And then from the hammer mill, it goes into the bagger. And just constantly the bagger's pushing material into the bag there. And it pushes the tractor forward. tractor not sure the exact model of it 560 m560 m650e or something like that i think i'd have to look we've ran our tractors on the bagger before the 2290 or 2294 it's just so hard on them they're not meant to do that much work you know this bagger requires i think like 200 some horse our tractors are rated around 2294 is the biggest and it's 155 engine horse so yeah we usually have a power takeoff go out or something wrong with our tractor after it gets off of this bagger so the past couple years we haven't had a tractor on the bagger and they've been going fine since they're just not meant for that kind of stuff won't be nice to get a little bit of a bigger track in the future to pull the disc or even you know put it on a bagger case 2390 or 2394 is kind of catching my eye 